Hey everybody, the permit search function on the PPRBD's website just got a major upgrade. In this video, we're going to show you some of the new features of the advanced permit search. To get started, click on the new advanced permit search button off to the far right of the home page. The old system was designed to search for exact addresses. If you have that, you'll want to use the basic search tab that you see here. If you don't have the exact address, you'll want to use the advanced search button that we just created, and that is what you're looking at right now. The advanced search gives you a lot more options to filter your search, from an address range, to the street, to the zip code, to down below, the project type, and a date range. You can fill out all of these, or in some cases, just one. The more you fill out, the narrower your search will be. For example, let's say I don't have an address, but I'm interested in all of the permits on Tut Boulevard. So let's plug in Tut Boulevard. It'll auto-populate and show you all of the addresses on Tut Boulevard. And then when you hit search for permits, it will give you a list. And as you can see, there are 86 permits found on Tut Boulevard. Another example of when the advanced search will come in handy is when you're looking for a certain project type in a certain jurisdiction. So for this example, we'll set the jurisdiction for Colorado Springs, then the project type to multifamily. So in this case, we're looking for apartment complexes in Colorado Springs that were permitted last year. When you hit search, it will then give you that list. 379 permits for multifamily projects in Colorado Springs last year. In addition to the list, you'll also get a new set of filters off to the left. These will allow you to break down your search even more. The filters include permit status, a specific discipline or trade, the valuation range, project description, and then things like school districts, a fire authority, and utility providers. Under permit status and discipline, you'll simply check the boxes that you want. Blue is on, gray means it's not available for that particular search. For the valuation, you can either plug in the range that you're interested in or use the slider bar that you see here. The remaining filters like school districts and fire authority have drop downs for you to choose from. And again, it will only pop up if it's applicable for that particular search that you started with. The project description will search for keywords that you plug in here. So for example, let's try re-roof and then hit apply and it will again filter that further looking for re-roof as the project description keyword. Let's clear that out and get back to the main screen. A couple things to keep in mind that will help you with your search. Pay attention to the date range. If the search is too narrow, you might not get any results at all, but if it's set to all, it might actually take a while or not even work because the search would be too broad in that case. If you don't need the additional filters that you see off to the left, you can simply hide them by selecting hide additional filters. If you're happy with the search and you want to save the list of permits that you're looking at, you can simply export to an Excel document by clicking on this button off to the far right. That will then make it easy for you to print. If you're wanting to do a completely new search, you simply scroll back up to the top and hit the clear button that you see here. That will clear everything out and you can start over. That's it. That's a crash course on the new advanced permit search on our website. It should come in handy for everyone from homeowners and contractors to developers and realtors. Have a great day, everybody.